Israel, this is Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to talk to you today about the garments. Many of you inquire about the garments. You've written us, you've called us about the garments that we have. I'm going to show you where they originated from, how, how they were designed, and who uh, sold them, put them together. When you read 1st Ezra chapter 4 verse 17, it tells you about women that these make garments for men. We established a system here with Deacon Malachi of Israel United in Christ over the garments. He and his wife Zuriel. So he's gonna take on a short journey and show you about the garments. Shalom Israel, Most High Christ Bless. I'm Deacon Malakaya, head over the sewing committee in IUIC. Alright, um, you know, the elder put me head over the sewing committee, you know, over the years, you know, you know, the spirit been jumping on me, you know, I really love the garments, you know, and how it started, how the garments started in IUIC, you know, is, um, you know, I went to my wife, I like, listen, now what you sold me garments, you know, so she, you know, the first garment she saw wasn't all of that, you know, but, but eventually she started getting better and better and better and, you know, so, from there, the elder starts seeing, you know, the garments, how they look in and so forth. And he's like, yo, listen, have your wife sew garments for the brothers and for us to go to camp and so forth. You know, so that's where, that's where the garments started in our UIC. You know, head, head, headed by me, the elder, the elder, he draw the, draw the plan or a sketch of how we want the garment made. And I bring it to my wife and we put it together. You know, so it's been a long journey, you know, but um, we are getting there, you know. Shalom, my name is Mrs. Zuriel from the House of Deacon Malachi. I've been head over the sewing department for many years. Under the supervision of my Lord Deacon Malachi and Elder Nathaniel, I put the garments together that the Elder designed. Because we have to sew garments for all the state, under the guidance of the Elder Wife Sister Shamaro, she gathered all the sisters together to get the garments done. my heart really feel um, really really heavy with joy um, and happiness. I'm so proud of all the work that everyone's put in. I'm obviously led by um, Sister Zuriel. I tell you five years ago when this all started it was just a thought. Um, ironically we laugh about it when we think about what we used to wear when we first um, had our first joint Passovers. Zuriel and her husband, they joined us at our home, but we just wore regular street clothes in the beginning. Um, and it was just like, just three, four families. So gradually when we all got together, we all started with basic garments. And Zuriel wasn't really in, in charge of the team then. It was really um, some brothers just getting together, deciding what they were gonna wear. And the rest of the congregation really didn't participate in wearing garments. So um, the Most High blessed her with a gift that has obviously increased over time and we are more and more grateful for it. Yes, we have designs and we have ideas um, going towards the future, but when you think in terms of things that we've done in the past, so when you think cream and gold, green and gold, silver and navy blue, and then to this year with the white and gold, I mean the brothers look sparkling, they look like diamonds. I just think that it just was a level of perfection um, and professionalism that cannot be denied by anyone. The, the uniformity of all of the looks um, with all of the different levels from the elders, the deacons, the offices is, is really, bar none, the best of out of all the camps that are out there. Obviously under the direction of my husband, um, Elder Nathaniel, he has a vision, he's had a vision from day one. Um, he spoke about how a garment is not something that you just wear when you just go out to camp. 
the, the border blue in front is something that you wear throughout. Obviously, for special occasions, new moons, Passover, you're going to wear these glorious garments. But with the sewing team, we have gone far beyond that now. We sew uh, shirts border blue for all of our customers through original royalty throughout the United States and beyond. They come up with a bunch of sisterhood that really have gotten their training over the years um, based on some, some, some pitfalls and some, some trials and errors throughout the years. There was one particular Passover where about uh, 20 sisters all got together in Florida under obviously Zuriel's direction and did about 15-20 garments in two days. I mean these are the things in terms of dedication and the love of the brotherhood with the unity of the sisters that are going to make these things possible. Obviously, going forward, we would love to have our own manufacturing plants, our own designers. We really are blessed and most high is bringing in enormous talent to the body that, you know, just shows this is the time. This is our time right now that really we can get this job done. The sewing committee with all the sisters that we have, we have some professional seamstresses, we have some professional designers. So we've only really just scratched the surface and really just looking forward to, to see what the most high brings us to the next level. And I'm, I'm thrilled to be a part of it. Thank you. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.